Hi, welcome to Green Slope 101. Today we're going to do a little demonstration on Green Slope Ponding Water Repair Kit. Green Slope is basically a fill material for ponding area, standing water areas on flat roofs, as well as uh, slope roofs behind air conditioning units with shingles. Green Slope is uh, half the weight of water made from recycled products. And today we're gonna to do a quick demo. Green Slope comes in a five gallon uh, kit that covers approximately 18 square feet at a half inch depth. And we have a larger tote that you'll see that carries about three and a half pails of Green Slope in one kit for those larger jobs. And you'll see how we mix it and apply it. We also have an additional kit that comes with the green slope as well as a one gallon top coat. Most folks will top coat the green slope once it's done to blend with the roof around it, make it waterproof, completely waterproof, as well as you know, just have a finished product for the owner. Most people don't realize ponding water is in the top eight concerns building owners with flat roofs have. That creates an opportunity as well as a problem. When you find eight out of 10 flat roofs have some sort of bird bath, ponding water that's difficult to get rid of with typical taper, insulation, drains, things like that. So today we're gonna to do the demonstration. I'm gonna show some tools that's good to have. Um, a mop, cleaning the roof surface, a blower, a broom. Uh, you wanna, after you clean it, before you clean the area, you wanna mark it. Uh, you can see the area is already marked. Um, because once you clean, it's kind of hard to see the outline of those ponding areas. Uh, so that helps. Then we'll clean it. Simple clean is a good detergent to use. It's fairly economical, easy to find, compatible with most roofs. So what we're going to do is we've identified the ponding areas. We want to clean the area very well. That's that's key. We're going to prime the area with the primer that comes with the kit. It comes with a primer adhesive mix. Not the prime the area, which we recommend is good for practice. But if you don't, then simply pour the entire half gallon container into the black and white bead mix and mix it and it'll self prime to a certain extent. Most people are encapsulating the top green slope anyway, so it doesn't matter quite as much. Now, speaking of top coats, it's very compatible with all types of roof coatings. You want to stay away from the high solvent ones, preferably, but pretty compatible with roof cements, elastomeric, silicone, uh, acrylics, urethanes, the white gamut as well as membranes, TPOs, EPDMs, mod bits. It can be applied to virtually any type of roof deck and roof system, meaning foam, metal, shingles, single plies, top uh, TPO, EPDMs, mod bits, decking, concrete, wood, wood roofs go down. And as far as that goes, you can put green slope on that finished surface. Once you find those small bird baths, or if you already identified them, before the roof goes on, you can install them before the roof goes on underneath the membrane and system so you don't have any repair loops. So we're gonna get started with the five gallon kits and again, the process is cleaning the area. We're gonna prime it, mix the products. Now this is a fairly quick product. We wanted something that you put down in the morning in top coat in the afternoon in most regions in the United States. It can be tacky when you top coat it, as long as it doesn't move around is the key. So we're gonna apply a top coat after it cures today. And then you can see what the finished product is. Now, some of the key, um, components is when we're cleaning this, we want to try to remember to clean six, eight, 12 inches past our area. So the coating or the membrane has a good air clean area to bite to. The other factor is once you get the green slope in the low areas that you want, you can screed it on bigger areas like concrete with a straight edge. We're going to do a small area today, but you can, uh, the bigger areas, a uh, straight edge, just like concrete. It's not self-leveling, so you want to work it into place. And then one of the key factors is take your trowel, compact that once it's in place. Now that compresses the mix, uh, minimizes any pores. So it takes less coatings uh, and tightens up the mix. We recommend as far as coatings go, uh, most have different braids. You have a, a, a spray brush and trowel braid. A brush or trowel braid 
you'll use less product and get a, a clean, smoother finish. Um, those are your options there. So let's get started. Okay, so we finished up this little repair um, with Green Slope, the ponding area. Now this is the middle of the roof area and what we're trying to do is just level it enough so it disperses the water in these little bird baths and are able to dry within that 48 hour rule of thumb. Now it's a little tacky but it's ready for the top coat. In this particular case we're going to put a white silicone elastomeric coat on the top. On rougher surfaces, we love to use the Royal Kirby. It's a fiberglass roof coating brush. It's reusable, recyclable, and it's made here in the US. I've been in business about 70 years out of Colorado. Check them out, great product. I like them for those rougher surfaces, especially, and mineral modifieds, you know, things like that. It really works the coating down in there good, better than a roller. So give it a try.